All right, so I'm going to try to finish this off enough to submit within this 15-minute demo. That doesn't mean you get tentative at the end or slower. You just kind of remain committed and notice all that still needs to be done. So I was working on the ear. I've zoomed out a little bit. I can still see the ear needs some work, but it's definitely a lot better. Framing in around the uh, the turquoise earring. It's very distinctive. I could zoom in and really try to get all the little gold details around it. But that might not be the best use of my immediate time when I still have so much to do around the, uh, the neck and collar. But it doesn't take a lot to just put some of that in. We have a little bit of that gold in there now. You're just trying to add, like we've been doing in the last video, just a lot of texture so that the, the paint surface is more interesting. You don't want these big open areas of just the same colored pixels. So it looks very unfinished. Unconsidered. And as you get more refined, you can go lower and lower opacities. But of course, it takes longer at lower opacities. So, just to balance all these things. Now, ears are complicated, and you don't need to spend a whole lot of time trying to get it just right. In fact, it's important to pay close attention to the ears, but not to take them too seriously. Because like feet, they're just weird looking on their own. So even if you make a perfect ear, it's still going to be weird looking. We just don't want it to pull attention because it's not worked on enough. One way is to squint. You can kind of see how it looks from a distance in your navigator. And you notice what things are kind of pulling focus, like these deep reds in the neck that I need to take care of. Paint another color across them. purples. I'm not worried about the outside edge too much yet, because that's something I can use the eraser on once I've got all the paint down. But I've got a lot of work to do in been working on the hair. And I gave myself a little bit more hair than is in the photo reference to work with. So that means I gotta bring that texture to it. But with a larger brush, maybe I can knock it out a little bit faster. Now that I have kind of the finish for the hair established up at the top. It's 
It's always good to have a few flyaways. Show that hair texture. Again, you you observe it carefully, but you don't take it too seriously. And now her robes and that contrast. Good to really frame it in. Be bold and confident with it. Not using black, using chromatic grays. I want to smooth later I can use the smudge tool. Now I'm trying to get some more interesting paint textures. Bring in some color. Even though the black robes don't have a lot of color. One of the advantages of digital painting is you can bring some color into things. happen if I did use solid black? How dark would that look? Not too bad. And then while I'm painting the robe, I'm also going to be defining what this, this neck neck piece is doing. Dark blues in there. Like layering up with crayons or with markers, leaves little gaps where the original color can show through. See, so that's what my refined paint looks like so far. Scribble, scribble, scribble. 
And because I want to draw the eye up to her face, I can leave kind of an unfinished, intentionally unfinished edge near the bottom. Now how to do this lace. Ugh. Just got to start attacking it, I guess. Maybe some of the shadow shapes. Kind of like the ear. Observe it closely, but don't take it too seriously. Don't be afraid of color. Frame it in. Lots of squinting. Try to see shapes instead of details. See the layering of color, how effective that can be, even when using big strokes. little embroidered highlights. I'm having to invent some here too because it's not all in my photo.